that listen voters in the UK, the EU and across the developed world. This is a call to action. We need you to contact your heads of state to tell them not to sign the UN Global Compact for Migration. UK, get your heads out of the Brexit shambles for a few minutes and listen. On the 10th and 11th of December, our heads of state will be signing this deeply damaging document produced by those highly educated, highly salaried and unelected people at the United Nations. They have produced this compact that will silence free speech, media freedom, and if you think you're in control of your borders, think again. This compact backs the EU and the UN's aim to flood our nations with 59 million migrants by 2025. Yes, you heard right, 59 million migrants by 2025. Yes, the clock is ticking, it's, all, it's nearly 2019, just six years to go. Why are they doing this, I hear you ask? Because in the year 2000, these numpties came up with the idea that our populations were declining and therefore needed replacing. But how things have changed. EU unemployment is at a record high. Some countries have 50% youth unemployment. In some areas of Greece, it's even up to 75%. Most countries that have taken in migrants are finding they are unemployable. On average, migrants have 13% unemployment, uh, have a 13% employment rate, so are a burden on the state. Even Merkel's immigration spoken spokesman said that up to three quarters of immigrants will still be unemployed in five years and for many others we need up to ten years. The statistics are long and grim. Voters in the UK, yes you, pay attention. Mrs May will sneak into Marrakesh to sign this dodgy deal just like Gordon Brown before her did when he sneaked in to, to sign the Lisbon Treaty. No nice group photo, just her signature that binds all of us to uncontrolled immigration. Did you think that we're taking back control of our borders in her Brexit shambles deal? Think again. Remember, the UN and the globalists want to flood our continent with 59 million migrants by 2025. Mrs Merkel is sound on this subject. She says nation states should be prepared to give up sovereignty and it is nationalistic not to sign. So UK citizens, did you think that Brexit means taking back control of our sovereignty? Not with this globalist deal. As the document and the EU states, immigration is inevitable, desirable and necessary. This is after we have poured billions into Africa. Africa is rich in resources. We should be encouraging them to stay at home. Did you know that Africa's population is 1.2 billion? Europe's is 741 million. And did you know that the UK, Europe, China, India and Japan combined could fit inside of Africa. And then there is the Middle Eastern immigration. These two continents pouring into our countries is unsustainable. In the compact, there is no provision for how much this is going to cost. The infrastructure needed, yet they bang on about climate change, sustainability and overcrowding. And there is the complete absence of dem democratic deficit of this compact. No one asked the voters whether we wanted this. No one asked us if we wanted our culture and identity crushed. And why? Because they know they would never get this past the voters. And then there is the serious question of free speech and how we've referred to migrants, refugees and asylum seekers. In their eyes, they're all one. Children will take precedence. Sounds sensible. Not really, because it will encourage migrants to people traffic their children for eventual family reunification. We will not be allowed to use the term migrants or illegal migrants. They all become irregular migrants. The media will be told what to write and the language to be used. Social media will also be controlled more than they are already. It will be illegal not to use their prescribed language. There is a lot in this compact that needs to be stopped. So what can you do? Write letters, not emails to your elected representatives. We are not alone. The US, Australia, Israel, Slovakia, Austria, Bulgaria, Poland, Hungary, the Czech Republic are not signing. More are joining every day. If we don't stop our heads of state signing this document, then you can say goodbye to democracy and your way of life. Get to action, people, and get in touch with your heads of states and stop this global compact being signed.